Hey YouTube, thanks for viewing Lena Reads, The Sign of Libra for January 2019. Happy New Year, Libras. I'm pulling first from the Sacred Rebels Oracle. I've already shuffled. Uh, remember the readings are based on collective energies for zodiac signs with astrology. Uh, that means don't take it as your life. Use the resonating messages as a tool to shed light on issues that need your attention. Uh, now you can get a reading where you can ask personal questions and get personalized advice. That's my suggestion. My donation, instant go, and Vimeo information are in the description along with the decks that I'm using. Now let's get it for the sign of Libra, January 2019. Okay, we got number 17 from Sacred Rebels. What's already with you? And we got 20 responsibility okay self-discipline empowerment reliability fulfillment what are the messages for Libra January 2019 coming out first with the seven of cups some of you could have multiple options you could be reviewing your options. Some of these options are not what they seem with the Five of uh, Swords here. Somebody that's possibly making the offer may be biased or shady, just straight out shady. looks like you do see justice in the end I want to add too when I was looking through the <clears throat> you may take on more than just one of these options by the way um, when I was looking at the astrologies it looks like Libra has two points coming into January two points on the tr on the um, astrological chart that says that you are most constructive your your um, inventiveness independence wisdom balance courage and creativity are all at its height at its height which makes you the most constructive in this time so coming into the new year you have all of these qualities on your side also and I got excited for this something uh, something called the part of fortune you can google it but that is in Libra coming into January it means career success good health and good luck so this might not be you know this ain't gonna be a, a bad reading this is definitely gonna be something good and I'm already getting a good feeling so we got the card of Libra here the standing stone that's justice also got this so let's see here so with the justice card here you may choose make a decision or choose a an, one of the options and it's a good choice I mean you got all these good qualities on your side let's clarify the standing stone okay clarified by the Queen of Pentacles somebody here one of your options it looks like could be a Leo this could be job related or relationship related but it looks like this person is using <clears throat> they're using tactic or tactics on you like 
this person isn't just naturally uh, charismatic. They're, they have been taught techniques and they're using tactics like tactical I'm getting like uh, like their, their moves are calculated to yield specific results like they're they are possibly being controlled by the person who's teaching them but they're using these tactics to either be one of your options or to take part in your organization or in your life if this is a relationship. Like I said, again, could be a Leo. We also have uh, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and water, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And also fire, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, and Earth. We have all signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Tur Taurus. But specifically, this Leo stands out. Okay, and it looks like it's possible that Libra is not hesitating to explore these options. on the tower to the board but I'm putting those back for the moment because we'll see where they come out so for some reason the seven of wands is telling me that you should you should be cautious with this you will possibly be defensive anyway Clarify the Earth Mother. Okay, so it looks like you you accept an offer and you may accept, for some of you, you may accept multiple offers. Hold on. And I, I feel like one of these offers, this with this underhanded, possibly underhanded person, could be a Leo. I feel like you may accept this offer as a challenge you know that this person isn't you know that this person is kind of like fake I guess not really fake I don't know why I said that hold on not fake but you know like one of those people that's they they're hiding something but transparently like either this person is tipping you off in like body language or like other like higher level communication this person is tipping you off that it's up to you but you know or this person is transparent enough or you are you have this gift that 
you you're very good at reading people and you're able to see through whatever they think they got going on so I hope that makes sense I said a whole lot right there but um let's see we got justice here twice so very strong uh, Libra I think you take you take this offer from this transparent Leo possibly could be any sign we got Pisces to the board it looks like you you do accept multiple offers or possibly accept multiple offers trying to get something for the other offers and I'm just losing cards left and right hold on I got butter fingers or something or there's just a lot to be said <clears throat> Clarify the Four of Pentacles in Reverse. Clarify this opportunity. Does Libra walk away from this opportunity? Okay. Does Libra play with the spellcaster in reverse? Okay. So we've got Cancer energy here, Virgo. It looks like it looks like you move on one opportunity like you you find your nine of cups in this opportunity we've also got the hermit there in reverse this could be advice to move forward or this could be you just moving forward on this with um, the knowledge that you have but it looks like you do accept more than one opportunity and one of them let's clarify the chariot in reverse okay one of them gets thrown back one of the opportunities may get thrown back like I'm, um, I got the seven of pentacles again for that one and to me like the first thing that came to my mind was like you tossed it back you know how you're fishing and you catch a fish that just hasn't had time to live its life you know you're supposed to throw those back you're supposed to throw those back and let them come of age right so it's look it looks like this opportunity did not make the cut although it received uh consideration there's another opportunity here okay let's clarify the ace of pentacles in reverse
cleared by the Queen of Swords. Okay, this could very well be a a relationship. We got cancer again. Somebody you fucking with is a cancer. Or someone you're dealing with is a cancer. Or you have a lot of cancers around you. That's me. I have a lot of fire signs. And for some reason I can overlook a whole lot of people. I can walk down the street or walk around the store or whatever I'm doing. And I won't even notice. You know. I won't even notice people. But it'll turn out that the one or two people that I do notice or Aries or fire, any fire sign like you know anyway <clears throat> but the chariot is here multiple times it is the number seven uh, Libra actually rules the seventh house of relationships contracts and partnerships um, so this could be any one of those for the people that are listening. This could be a relationship, it could be a partnership at work. These could all be business options. But I'm looking at this one as because of the mother of air, which is an a fire sign. No, I'm sorry, she's an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could represent you. If it does represent you, it would mean that you turn this opportunity down. And because it's showing up here, that means you may have considered it strongly. You may have gave it the once or twice over, you know. but it looks like you may have decided to move on let's clarify the chariot or the warrior here clarifying the mother of air in reverse endurance okay Okay. You may not feel up to what this opportunity requires. This opportunity may be a huge role. I see it represented by the Nine of Cups and the Emperor. That strong Aries energy. But the Emperor embodies the qualities of each of the kings in the deck. So you ain't just looking at a boss. You looking at the boss's boss when you when you become the emperor or when you're looking at the emperor. It looks like that may be what this opportunity is. You you're way over the heads of possibly even even the people the people the person or the faction that made the offer so this puts you up like this offer I don't know it could be a business deal if it's a love situation I'm not like I'm not seeing that I'm seeing business right I'm also seeing Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So you may turn this opportunity down, but it's saying here that you may be, you may need to um, reevaluate yourself and consider what you're worth, what all by yourself, what is already with you. That's card number seventeen. Chariots keep showing up. Cards number se card number seven. You got a lucky charm on your astrological chart this month. Uh, coming into the new year, you're ready for you're ready for the responsibility because right now you don't have to handle it on your own. 
you have the universe on your side. I think the advice here is that there's not a better time than now to jump on this opportunity. We, we'll try to clarify a little bit later, but let's see. It looks like you may be... Oh my God, this is all... Like there's so many sevens. And it's, it looks like... Let's see. Out of, the, out of the options that we see here... You, okay, you may choose more than one, and I'm hoping that this, this one with the Emperor is a really good choice. But, you've got one option filed away, you've turned one option down. It looks like you may have turned another option down. But you like one foot in, one foot out. So maybe the yeah, this is another option. We got fours now. Two fours right here together. It's like it's like you're on the move. It's like you don't want to sit still. You got this energy flowing through you and you just want to move. Hold on here. Let's go. Oh. All right. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, jealousy. The Four of Air in reverse. Okay. The Emperor is also the initiator. He's showing up here again. So let me see what this person is. Let's clarify the Emperor clarifying the Nine of Cups. For the Ace of Pentacles. Again, another nine. Generosity. We're clarifying the. Let's clarify the two of arrows. Clarifying the, the Emperor. Okay. Instruction. Okay, so. This level up opportunity may require some additional schooling. Now let me clarify the Emperor in reverse, the green man. Okay, this is starting to look more like a relationship. But it looks like it started in some heartbreak. You were letting go of whatever this is. It affected you emotionally. 
Looks like this could be later in the month. But let's see with the fours here, and we have three fours here now. Okay, so it's like I'm looking at this like you want to be a player. You know, I mean, no more heartbreak because you're not going to let yourself get into that. Um, it's like realization. You realize that you're playing in an arena that you just ain't got time for right now. Looks like you do have a new passionate start. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse? All right. Okay. So yeah, so you, I mean, you just, going into the end of the month, relationship-wise, you're using, um, I want to know, we can't use the word using, you're offering your wine for, for you know, you're not, um, committed or dedicated to anyone for some of you for others you you may be staying in the same relationship that broke your heart but you just you're just not letting it get to you. You're keeping it uh, physical instead of trying to bring your emotions in. You know you're trying to keep your emotions in check here. Yeah, that's not over. Um, I do want to clarify this option with the emperor okay so there's there is an opportunity that you have to achieve, right? The opportunity is there. You have to achieve it. You haven't received this offer yet coming into January. But with all these constructive elements on your side coming into the new year, you see this coming. By the way, foresight is one of the constructive elements on your side uh, coming into the new year. And you can see this and it looks like you probably had to convince yourself that you're ready. But the truth is, it, this job is out of your scope, right? It, this this position is out of your scope. But you're being you're being uh, advised to seek instruction. I don't see the half in nowhere, so it doesn't it doesn't clarify that you're going to school, that you're going back to school for this I got the lovers the card of Gemini 
There could be a Gemini involved here somewhere. The card of patience. That's a lot, you know, that lover's card came in. So, if this were a, okay, so whoever, whoever's speaking to me right now, and I thank you, I thank you for it, right? But they're not letting me forget things that I saw. The lovers showed up to remind me that there are some love elements in this, just in this option. So maybe your love interest could be a Gemini, a Sagittarius, or a fire sign. Or an air sign, a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But, oh, also Cancer's here. Leo. But in the, just in this option, there are some love. Uh, there are some cards indicating, you know, a love either entangled in this option, like somebody who you may be um, partnering with, right? The house of partnerships, that's what Libra rules, contracts and shit. Someone in this house or someone in your professional group may be interesting or maybe maybe turn maybe feeding this to you you know in a good way they may be uplifting you this guy looks uplifted they may be uplifting you to not question yourself but to go for it and this this is funny. I gotta look back at the last Libra video too, cause um, somebody else had a work relationships work slash love relationship. I think that's so sexy. Ain't nothing more sexy than making money with the motherfucker you go to bed with. You know, that's nice. Oh, I have such, like, I feel so good right now. So, with the lovers here, Spirit is reminding me to not forget this person. Do not forget this person, Leo. Um, the person who you work with. I'm getting really strong feminine energy, but, um, like, Libra's in the house of Virgo. And let's see here. Well, Libra, Libra is gentle, so I may be getting, I may be feeling the female. The female could be the Libra. Um, the energies are vice versa, though. I'm saying female, but it's feminine. Is there anything else? Am I forgetting? The Two of Wands. Again, this is, I think this all goes in with the, the encouragement to Put this plan together right to organize this plan and all the like I said again and I won't say it no more but all of these these this set of luck and um, qualities 
revolve around the sun. They revolve around the sun just like the planets, right? So it gets to be in everybody's sign somewhere. It gets to be in everybody's chart somewhere at some time. Coming into January 2019, Libra, that's you. That's you. I've seen some videos of people titled, I wish I was this sign or I wish I was that sign. Oh my God, if only I was a Libra. You know? Anyway, it is your responsibility to use all of these qualities that are already with you and the ones that are granted through the month of January 2019 and coming into your new year coming into your new year all the way pretty much all the way through the month you get some kind of at, at first it's going to be in that second house and at, la at last again it's going to be in the sixth house where Libra will be Libra will also be in the sixth house um, the house of health but um, yeah it's, it's your responsibility to use these elements because with all the divine guidance that came out on the board today all these sevens all these um, uh, major arcana cards there is a higher purpose for you having these opportunities right now and as the transit moves, you will be further guided to most likely help others. Yeah, so let me just pull a, I'm going to pull from Chakra Insight Oracles and then I'm going to close it down. It's 37 minutes already. Libra, January 2019. Wow. Divine consciousness. Intelligence. Look at that. Okay. So we got card number 45 and card number 49. Both of these are from the Chakra Insight Oracle. But we got intelligence and divine consciousness. Um, please take that how it resonates. I don't want to keep talking. Because uh, I want to go ahead and do the next sign, which is Scorpio. But thanks for hanging out. Thank y'all for liking and subscribing. Uh, thanks for all the comments and the feedback. Uh, click to subscribe or see um, any other signs. Or I do encourage you to um, find out what your sun, moon, and rising signs are. I'm going to put the link for that in the description. If you have any personal questions, shoot me an email or text me on Instant Go. To donate to the channel, look at my PayPal, um, my PayPal me link that's in the description as well. Um, and other than that, Happy New Year. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but I got the spirit from this reading. I'm going to have to go and shed it so that I can do the next reading without y'all's energy all over me. But thank you so much. I appreciate this time. Good night. Happy New Year, Libra.